everybody you are right here with rivet training and this ex in this exercise we're going to look at trusses uh, how to uh, load a truss and work with trusses and rivet so right now I'm in this blank file here as you can see and we're going to go into our so let's load up a trust family I'm going to go here and insert. I'm going to load a family. And what I want to do is I want to go and pick the proper template that we want to use for this project. Now, you'll find structural trusses here. And these are all the default trusses that are in Rivet. Pratt, how, worn scissors, and so forth. So let's place a how flat truss. And let's go open. And it will load the family in. Uh, let me just cancel that. It's one in this project already. So now we'll go to structure. And we'll go to our trust command. So now, as you can see, there's my how trust uh, family and our properties. And so what we want to do is, in our draw tools, it'll prompt us to pick a line or draw a line. So in this case, we'll just draw the line because we don't have any lines to pick. So I'll just, just, just click roughly here. And I'll drag there. I just place it to about there and click. Now it's loading up the truss. Now, so if I hit modify and you click on it, you'll see there's our truss and there's all the things in the property palette that we need. That's the height to ground level two and the cords and everything. So that's basically how we place our truss. Now, let's go look at our south elevation. I go south, there's our truss at level two. Let's make this just medium, or let's make this coarse. Now, if you touch click here, you have these blue drag tools and you can click it and drag it. Slow computer. And the trusses will <clears throat> move about. Now as you can see, the blue lines show that it's highlighted. And this, this is a form of vertical and diagonal members. Now let's escape modify. And so this would be the bottom cord the top cord, and these are the webs going vertically and horizontally, horizontally. So that's basically how you place the truss, and that's the basic concept of trusses. So now, let's go and move on and look at how we want to create our truss family. Okay. So now to create a trust family, I want to leave this project open with the trust we already inserted because I want to insert another trust linking to this one. So let's go back to our level two floor plan. And it's sitting there ready to be used. Okay. So I'm going to go to application menu. I'm going to go to application menu. Oh, no. I'm going to go up. Yep, application menu here. I'm going to go new, new family. Okay. So we want to scroll down to a template for our new template, for our new trust. 
So we get down to structural, there's a structural trusses template. So we'll select that and click on open. Now, as you see, it'll give you a basic template with reference frames. This is a basic uh, trust that we can work with to begin building our family. So we need to make sure our length is correct. So let's click this. So let's, we want this to be 30 feet instead of 80. So let's apply. And then the trust height reference planes are here. So let's just clean this up. Let's save this. It's a good idea to save this. So let's go file. Save as family. And I'm going to save this on my desktop. And we're going to call this basic box trust. Now save it. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to update all this here. I want to take pick this dimension and just drag this in, say about right here. Also want to grab this bubble. As we should have did first, but that's okay. We'll try it on the next go around so we'll drag that to there that looks good so we'll do the same at this end let's just drag this and bring it in this just tidies it up and make sure our reference planes are not all over the place Now, we need to update the mid dimension, so let's select this. Drag this to about right here. Okay, now, this is just the bit. This just tells us the 12th height right here. So I want to update this. Let's make this six feet. Let's go to six. And there. So now we want to update this as well. Just to drag this up, tidy it up a bit. Now we need more reference planes. So on the create tab, let's hit reference plane. And let's put one about right here and we'll pop another one there yeah. okay now what we want to do is be ready to draw in some uh, let's just update these dimensions Seven six, that's what we want. Now, let's do mention this line and update this side. So, we want to make sure these are equal distance. So, let's go here, mention this line, and it's good, it's seven six, and that's what we want. And these have to be equal, so there's we're good to go now. <clears throat> So now we want to draw in our top and bottom cord. So that's simply we'll create top cord here. And we want to go from here to here. Okay. 
Next, we want to show our bottom chord. Now we'll go from this point to here. Okay, so next we need to draw in our, our webs. So we'll draw select web, and we'll draw one from here to here. Another one from here to here. Now these have to be individual lines. There. We'll do another one from here to here. Now the key to this is you have to make sure they're all individual. We'll go from here to here. And we'll take another one from here to here. Now but we need a one here and here as well. So we we'll draw one there. Draw one there and there. Now <clears throat> the vertical planes have to be aligned and locked. So uh, you want to go with the align tool, select the reference plane, the web, and lock it. Go to this one as well. Lock it. You notice the colors is a good thing, a different uh, web core, cord, top cord, bottom cord, they're all different colors. That's good. So we have to align and lock each of the vertical cord with webs. Okay, moving on. So I think we got everything here. There's our length, our height, we got our top cord, webs, bottom cord. So Let's lock this as well. Click there and there and lock that. <clears throat> so these will have to be fixed heights and fixed lengths. So we want to have, we got this all set into place and let's save this now. So we've got our truss family made. We got the length, equal parameters, press height, and everything is locked into place. So now what we need to do, we need to set this as a, a family member. So let's go into our family types. Now these are all of our settings. So let's create a new family type here. So our type will be box trust 30 by 6. So let's say OK. Apply this. OK. So this is our basic box trust family. So now let's load this into our project. Project is sitting behind. So now, what has to happen here, let's cancel this. We want to go back into level two. And there. Now we want to select trust. And there's our trust that we just created. So basically, if I did that, we needed to do this on level two. I went to structure, and there's our trust. And it's defaulted there because that's the last trust family that we brought into our project. Now, this is also in the family browser. And you can trust this. And there it is. There's our basic box trust. So I go back into trust. So I click here and I'll drag it. I can make it as long as I want, but let's just make it 30. I click like that. 
hit escape a couple of times, click on it there, and as you can see, all the settings are in place, the height, all of the, the So let's look at that edit type. And there's our 30 by 6. It shows us that we have the 30 by 6 truss that we created. So now let's have another look here. Let's go into our, let's just collapse these families. Let's go and look in our, our west elevation. And there's our truss. Let's look at this in core so we can see it a little better. Yeah, now well, there's our truss. And now we ticked, we selected, we can change the length. We can drag this along. Let's go look at this in 3D view. There we go. So they're my two trusses. This is the one we brought in that was from Revit, this one. And this is the one we created, a 30 foot by six foot. If I select that, that's 10, hmm, interesting. So this is basically how you create a truss and um, how do you load in a, a truss family and create one. So hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Any more questions on trusses, I'll feel free to help you out and uh, we can go on farther. But actually, um, we can look at a few more things with trusses because they're very involved and interesting. So what you can also do here, you can tab and you'll see that you can basically uh, pick the different members from the truss. So you can uh, unpin it and you can change this to whatever you like. So we want to be pin that back. do this. Now let's go back into our west elevation. We can tag uh, this truss as well. So let's go into the annotate ribbon and select tag by category. We select it and there's our tag. And what happens is the tags will also give all the different member sizes as well. So you can just go here and tag the box for the bottom. I don't like the leaders on these. So I'll do another tag here. So There you go. So that's how you basically create and work with trusses. Very simple and straightforward. Again, go back to my 3D view. Cancel that. So that's how you create a truss in Revit. We just loaded one in and we created one. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye.